Hello, folks. Welcome back to another edition of the Arc Daily Podcast. This is number 393, Wednesday, November 29th. We're gathered here for another edition of the Arc Daily Podcast. Hope you're all having a wonderful hump day. A lot of progress is happening here. We're going to hear from Brett Nordine here shortly. Coach MT is at an appointment right now, so he's not going to be manning the comms with us here today. Most likely be a short one. We have a video from Jashan Vanquish we'd like to share with you. We'd like to do it when he's here present with us. Maybe we have a couple more folks attending. See a pretty low attendance on today, but we've got some great folks here in the house. Great to see you all. And boy, what a week. Things are moving in the right direction. Alex is making a lot of progress. Very excited, very hopeful that we'll be able to come in on time for Friday. Today, the rewards should be stopped. And they would continue again over on the Polygon side where we're going to enjoy from the very low gas fees. Definitely looking forward to that. We're having a great experience as we do transactions on Polygon. A massive discount for every transaction compared to the BSC and a lot of other chains, especially when you look at Ethereum, which are not astronomical gas fees as they used to be a couple years ago. It's getting a lot better, and I believe it's going to continue to get a lot better. But for right now, I think it's as good as it gets. A lot of smart money, a lot of great developers developing on Polygon. We're happy to be able to join the ranks and be surrounded among the likes as Disney and Bentley and Mercedes, uh, Marvel, Big corporations doing big business at the right place. So that's where we're going to be going. We're glad that you're all migrating, coming along. We're going to be meeting so many new investors over there and in the real world as well that we're going to show them how to polygon. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Brett Nordin for today's updates. A very exciting week over here. What did you say, sir? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, getting getting ready for uh, the final moments of our migration, our pivot, um, as you mentioned, over to Polygon, but then also, you know, starting the new uh, era of utility for ArcFi and leading into the privacy products. We're going to be focused a lot on pushing the products that we have. Obviously, we want to generate revenue, but also bring as many users and eyeballs as we can going into our release of the privacy platform. And uh, so we've got a few months to, to really prepare, get as many affiliates in, in line uh, with the Aaron Tarot card and start them earning, uh, growing our network. Obviously, we can leverage now not just the Binance uh, you know, groups that we've been talking to before, but we can also start talking to ones in Polygon. So we're looking forward to meeting some of those new uh, investors in, in Polygon, introducing them to the on and off ramps as well as the legacy NFT and start to introduce the uh, privacy products and what's really coming, uh, what we're building, and what it's going to mean to legacy NFT holders that uh, are going to enjoy the profit streaming uh, from those subscriptions. So uh, yeah, lots of work being done on that in the background. Um, I've been working a lot on our new pitch deck, our presentation that we're going to have ready, uh, hopefully before the end of next week. Uh, pushing just to get some final graphics and some things done. But uh, we have a lot of happenings, uh, not only on the front end that Alex is working on with the D app, but also with our design resources in regards to the privacy products. And I don't want to hold uh, the launch of the privacy products up. So we're just you know, being creative and working around their schedule to get as much of the presentation as we can finished. Um, we are going to have a full pitch deck for every level of investor, whether that's you know, a large uh, group that, um, you know, is interested in uh, becoming, you know, on a, a smaller part of maybe the legacy NFTs, but then also uh, looking at higher net worth individuals uh, that will be, you know, more scrutinizing of the business plan as well as, you know, the business case 
for the privacy products, what else is happening in space, who the competitors are, um, you know, what, what kind of money is being raised, what kind of interest and, 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 uh, and capital is flowing into the privacy space, which we know is significant. So um, we're going to pare it down to make it, you know, uh, digestible for uh, shorter presentations as well as, as longer ones and more in-depth ones. So um, looking forward to getting that finished and getting back out on the road. Um, I know Atlas, you've been working on some things already. We're really looking forward to bolstering our Twitter presence um, as we kind of move more into a utility realm and more sophisticated uh, crypto investors that are looking for real world utility, real use cases for the investments that they make. Uh, we know crypto Twitter is probably a better home for us ultimately. Uh, we'll still have our base on Telegram and all of our tech support and everything running through there. Um, but revamping the Telegram into a uh, discussion point for the utilities, um, but then keeping our, our DAO group as our legacy NFT holders, our investors in, in uh, the uh, legacy NFT platform. Um, so we'll, we'll be working on kind of making that distinction between those two. I uh, really want to keep the discussions on our ARC main channel. Uh, in regards to the products, the affiliate programs, uh, what's coming, and uh, and then keep the the investment discussion, the legacy NFT discussion happening. Um, once people mint and they become part of the family, they're going to be moving over to the, uh, the secret DAO group, which will probably uh, rename something, you know, just like legacy legacy NFT holders or something like that, be a little bit more generic, um, uh, so that all legacy NFT holders can participate in that channel and get updates more key updates on the progress and uh, and just sort of be first in the know when we talk about beta testing, we talk about launch dates and things like that um, so that they can, you know, make better decisions in regards to their investments and what they're doing with their NFT portfolio. Um, yeah, so there's going to be a lot moving here in the next two, three weeks. I would say after we make the switch, uh, we land on Polygon. There's going to be a lot of movement, um, a lot of discussions being had and lining up those uh, you know, AMA style tours, as well as probably some things on Twitter and some things we'd be seeing happening on social media. So really picking up the pace, leveraging what we've got and bringing as many uh, new people into the fold and into the Arc by family that we can, not just for the legacy NFTs, but also in preparation for the privacy products, the more the merrier. Um, so uh, I'm assuming that um, we'll be running some promotions and things like that. We haven't detailed all of that out, but I know we have some ideas and what we're going to be doing. Um, but that'll really continue, I would guess, until you know the early part of next year. And until we launch the privacy products, we're going to be pushing really hard to get as many people and, uh, and uh, new cards issued and people using the tools that we have today in terms of the uh, Arc by Baking products that we have in place. So uh, that's, that's kind of my focus this week. Um, we have a lot going on also with the privacy suite and the developers there. Um, a lot of just detail work, but once again, we're just sort of in the mix of coding on the back end, uh, hooking everything up on the front end for the email right now, and then the design progressing for password management system and then into the DVPN. So um, lots to do, and we have a meeting tomorrow morning to, to do our uh, bi-weekly meeting, so I'll See if we have a little bit better update tomorrow on the status of things. But um, as I mentioned, that's just sort of uh, blocking and tackling now, really getting into the uh, deep in the code and deep in the design and deep in the, uh, uh, the inner workings of the system. We do have some things we still need to iron out on our end from a business perspective. So I'm working on the corporate structure and moving over to uh, Switzerland. So we'll be seeing you know, more of that take shape as we move into the new year. And then uh, once that's established, we can start revealing the brand, uh, the rebranding approach that we're going to be doing. Um, and it looks like it looks we're like probably going to rebrand, um, you know, everything as we go because it all sort of fits under the same realm and and uh, the intent of the brand and how we're privacy centric and we're crypto focused, uh, but we're also about um, you know, protecting our identities and being autonomous and remaining sovereign. So. That's really the way we wanted to go, and, and I think that uh, the rebranding will reflect that and, and sort of pull everything under an umbrella of uh, products and services that will play with each other. Um, so we can get definitely cross promotions happening from the banking side into the privacy side and vice versa. Uh, we're 
the audiences that are attracted to those same products. So uh, lots to do, um, but great progress happening so far. And uh, that's about it for me. Oh, I did want to make a couple announcements. Um, you mentioned that we did stop the BUSD rewards emissions on uh, the Legacy and a TD app. So go over and claim your BSD, BUSD rewards uh, that are over on the Legacy NFTD app page. Um, if those are not claimed before Friday when we do the redeployment and the migration to Polygon, you will get a mint credit for whatever unclaimed rewards you have uh, showing on the DApp page. So we just end up with a mint credit um, on the new Legacy NFT uh, Polygon page. So uh, yeah, that's something I think that uh, everybody should do if they don't, we just don't wanna make sure, you know, we wanna make sure everybody gets a chance to get those BUSD out if they intend to claim them. Um, and then also I did post an announcement, uh, I think just a link to Binance is gonna discontinue uh, supporting the USD pairs on December 15th. So this month and just a couple of weeks. Uh, so if you do use the exchange to you know, off ramp or to make any swaps, with other cryptocurrencies might be a good idea to get your BUSD into something else, into a different stable coin. They have USDC and USDT on Binance as well. Um, so I would uh, you know, switch out those coins where you can, um, but you know, we always preach to get your, your uh, crypto off the centralized exchanges anyway into your self-custody wallet and manage your own uh, destiny there as far as um, you know, who tells you what you can and can't use your crypto for. So um, yeah, I think the timing was right. Uh, moving over to Polygon is definitely a great move. We would have had to do something different in terms of how the legacy NFT reward holders earn yield anyway. So this is, uh, I think, a, a good timing and departure. And we're a little ahead of schedule, so that's great. And we know that um, Paxos is no longer going to support things going uh, into the new year. I think February 14th or 2nd or something like that. I think it was February 2nd. Um, they're no longer going to support the issuance of the USD. So um, that's all halted, and we'll see how that unfolds from here. But it looks like there's just less and less liquidity in the USD pools anyway. So I think that that'll have to migrate to another stable coin. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and ultimately probably be retired um, unless other people, you know, want to jump in and continue the use of it. But no more will be created. So. Yeah, that's about it for me. Uh, anything else that you can think of, Atlas, that uh, people need to know? No, just to stay tuned as, as we're getting very close to Friday. Mm -hmm. If there's uh, any delay, we uh, should be able to t take care of it uh, over the weekend. We don't do it exactly on Friday, but uh, Alex has been doing a, a, a really good, great job. So uh, we're moving in the right direction. The progress is, is yep. there. Yep. We're seeing the daily uh, updates and, and things really moving the right direction. Hey, Brett. Yeah, I feel like he had one more piece to kind of finish up. So I know that uh, he's on track for Friday. But uh, yeah, as you mentioned, there might be, you never know, there might be a little hiccup hey, here and there that we have to call. Yeah, go ahead, and Brett. Make. Yeah, did you say you shut, the, you shut it off? Because I took out my rewards last night. So I don't have to go back in, right? E possibly, depending on the timing and when you did it, there might be one more. Uh, okay, I see you had to do the time at 11 US UTC. What is that in my time? I have no idea. Okay, what is that in Eastern Standard Time? I have no idea. Okay. No, I have no. I, I see you changed it to a time... Uh, Instead of 24 o'clock, it just says 11 UTC now all the time. Yeah, I yeah, don't know what be, 11 is. It should be about eight hours from, you know, ahead of you. Okay. The, uh, well, well, I'll just check it again tonight then. It wasn't very much. I mean, it's only like 20 cents I think we're making on one end. If it, so it's not a whole big deal. I won't worry about it. Well, you're, you're going to be receiving it on the other side. <laughs> so it's just sitting there yep. growing. <laughs> yes, sir. Any other questions? All right. So, yeah, so it's looking good. I was just confirming with uh, Alex. And uh, he's, he's to get Friday. We're going to be able to get it done. We might have to rush a bit, but 
If we need more time, I don't like doing things too rushful. We'll, we'll look at Saturday, Sunday. So it's all it's all looking great. All right, folks. Well, I think that's going to bring us to the end of today's podcast. Hope uh, Coach MT has a a positive result from his uh, doctor meeting today. We know he was not feeling very well and uh, needs to continue to to check up. So, folks, we wish you a great rest of your your Wednesday hump day. We'll be back tomorrow. More information. I think we'll have a more concise and precise time for Friday to to share here with you. And if we need to extend it a bit, we'll we'll do it uh, between tomorrow and the next day. Have a good one. We'll be back tomorrow, same time, 2 p.m. EST, 7 p.m. UTC. And we wish you all, really, a great rest of your day. See you tomorrow. Let's get this crypto. Oh, God dang. Oh, yeah. Let's get this crypto.